What is up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can get Pokemon Close Combat working on Linux. Technically there's already, not really a tutorial, but you can do it with any sort of like Wine platform, but there's no tutorial on showing how you can get it set up with online. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm just going to walk you through the whole thing. So first thing you're going to do, you're just going to go to Chrome. My Linux laptop is pretty slow. You're just going to, you're going to go to Chrome and you're going to find the, you're going to get the Pokemon Close Combat files. And so I have them in this folder here. I'm gonna be trying my best to keep that up to date. But if it's not up to date, just like just at me in the close combat Discord server. Um, snack two AM. And in the ask for help section, and I'll I'll update it for you as soon as I can. But uh, you're just gonna download this folder. This link's gonna be in the description. And this is gonna have all like the latest game files. And so the reason we're doing this is because with the launcher, at least with Lutris, which is what we're using. Um, this this app it runs Wine way more smoothly. It really streamlines everything, makes it super easy to do, um, and you can't use the launcher in this. It won't work correctly. So you're just gonna have just the files from after you've installed it. So then also we're gonna have to install Lutris. We're just gonna look up Lutris download. Go here. The link's also in the description, and just find whatever Linux operating system kernel you're using. Download that or follow instructions for that. Once you have Lutris installed and all set up, which if you're having issues, there's plenty of um, guidance and things written down online for you to use. And I don't, I don't want to go in and really do like three tutorials in a sense. In a sense. So once you have that all set up, you're just going to go up here, click Add Game. You're going to click Install a Windows Game from an Executable. Name it whatever you want. For this, I'm just, I'm going to name it Close Combat. Linux example and we're gonna have this it doesn't really matter you can do XP 32-bit or Windows 10 64-bit I just prefer the 64-bit because it's gonna run a bit better at least in terms of this um, this just choose whatever folder you want to put it in I'm just gonna keep it where it gives me make that folder now we're gonna click browse and it's gonna open up this and I have my close combat in a folder extracted that folder from the mega link open this up Get the and you're just gonna scroll down and you're gonna open up this PokemonCC.exe. Nothing else to do here. Just click install, and now it's gonna install the game data. It's gonna update the wide configuration as well. You don't really need to press anything here. You just gotta wait for it to install. And as a hold, if you have like a somewhat decent laptop, this is like a laptop from like 2016, 2015, and it's it's gonna install relatively quickly. Alrighty, now that the game is installed, it's just going to open up here. As you can see, we got version 12. Everything's set up very nicely. We can just close out of that for now. It's going to finish up installing, and it's going to tell us to close this. And now you'll notice if we go to open up again, it's going to say that we are that it has no executable set. I don't really know why that, why it does this, but we're just going to click on this arrow here next to play. Click configure. Go to the game options tab. We're just going to go under executable here. We're going to click Browse, and we're just going to do what we did before, open up our folder with the files, and just select Pokemon Close Combat.exe, and now it should open just fine. There we go. Now, we're going to do a similar set of steps for setting up Lilith to do online, but we're going to have to install uh, a version of .NET. Some of them don't work, but I found one that's going to work, and you're just going to go here, we're going to say... Lilith, Linux example, doesn't really matter what we name it, and we're gonna actually going to select Windows XP 32-bit because some, the way Wine installs something, some of the packages that we need to, the package we need to install is 32-bit, so it's going, it's only going to be able to install through if we set it to Windows XP. Go through the installation like normal, set the folder you want it to be installed in, select the setup file, go to our same folder, but this time don't have to scroll as far. We're going to go for this lilithport.exe exe file. Click install. It's going to install all here.
Alrighty, so now Lilith is going to open. This might be blank. You're just going to select nickname. If, if it shows up on server or client, just switch over to host. It should already have the address and port in there. Click OK. Now it's going to open up and nobody nobody's going to show up in the lobby and it's going to give us all these errors. So what we're going to do is we're just going to close it out. Wait for this to finish. Close it out again. Just It's going to have the same issue, so we're just going to click here. We're going to click configure on this. Go to game options again, go to browse, go to our close combat folder, select lilithport.exe again, click save. Now it's still going to have the error, so what we're going to need to do is that Lilith uh, for the online needs a .NET 3.5 or higher, and it's going to need Visual C++, but Visual C++ should be pre-installed on your computer. So the only thing we're going to need to install is .NET. So we're going to click on this error next to the Wine logo, and we're going to use Wine Tricks. We're going to click on Wine Tricks here. We're going to click and select select the default Wine re Refix. Click OK. We're going to click Install a Windows DLL or Component and click OK again. It's going to open up here. And we're going to ignore all this. We're going to scroll down to the Ds till we see .NET. Find this .NET 4.7.2 or the .NET 472. Click that. Make sure just that select. You don't need to install anything else. And click OK. And now it should start installing .NET 4.7.2. Uh, Lutris kind of installs stuff in the background in a way. So it's going to have a few pop-ups, but you don't need to worry about those. And once it's finished installing, it'll be ready to go, I believe. Now, if, if your computer doesn't have Visual C++, you can go into the Wine Tricks and you can find Visual C++, but it's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes it's worked for me and sometimes it hasn't on my other Linux laptop where it doesn't have Visual C++ pre-installed because it's a very bare bones kernel and I just have it set up through USB. So in that case, you can you could try adding you could try messaging me in the Discord server again. Um, sometimes I'm um, not online all the time, but I'll probably get to you within a day or a day or two, and I'll get to you on that. And we can probably troubleshoot it. But as a whole, it's just uh, just the .NET you need. It's going to say it does not f fully work or install on Wine. It's all right. It should work fine if we do 472. It's going to say this. It has the red icon, but it's just going to be just letting you know that that is going to be hanging in the background until it finishes installing in that folder. Yeah, we just gotta wait at just a notification from Lilith since we're not done installing it. We can just keep trying till it launches. And here we go, it's open, we're gonna click OK. As you can see, no more error. You can see everybody in the main lobby, hello friends. And there you go, and for, for example, we can see it's gonna open up. You don't need to set anything, Just we can go here, for example, we can start a game here and just and we can you can see here here is close combat version 12 once again running with the online it may be a little bit more laggy than it would be on Windows since you're running it through a wine thing through Linux um, but it should run relatively well and if you ever have an error with the executable just remember you just go click on the try click on the game try on us to play Ooh, wrong one click on that configure, click on game options, and then just browse for that file. And make sure you install .NET uh, 4.7.2 because it, I have tested a few other ones and they don't work. So just make sure you do that one. That's what works for me. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Have fun playing some close combat on your Linux if you haven't been able to play it yet. So have fun.